Crows and Ravens especially, but in general the whole Corviday songbird family is known for their high intellect and are considered to be among the smartest birds, probably even among the smartest animals in the whole world. So why would they chase away, go after and sometimes even attack bigger birds of prey, which are certainly on top of their food chain and pose a real danger to the crows themselves? Attacking someone with a powerful beak and razor-sharp talons seems to be a foolish idea, yet these smart birds do it. Let's take a closer look as to why that is. The Corvid family is met with a lot of preconceptions. A lot of people probably think of them as annoying, loud and mischievous creatures and to a small but a certain extent I can understand why. But they are also super curious, loyal and social animals which sometimes live together in big social groups. On top of that, like we mentioned before, they are super intelligent, are known to use tools and to plan ahead and also can solve difficult problems. The intelligence of crows can possibly reach levels equivalent to a human being of up to 7 years of age. So after hearing that, you might think to yourself that a smart bird like a crow or raven would choose to stay away from a predator like a hawk or an eagle. But they actually often choose to do the opposite of that and chase them. The main reason crows attack hawks and similar birds is that those are seen as a threat not only to themselves but rather for their young ones and crows are quick to defend their territory, nests and nestlings. Nestlings are immature crows. Unlike smaller birds that only stay in the nest for a few weeks, baby crows remain in the nest for about a month. Of course, defenseless like that, this makes them a pretty easy target for a hawk who are known to often go after smaller birds. So actually a crow wouldn't really want to attack a hawk without a good reason, but if one of these powerful birds is interested in a nest of crow chicks, the adult animals will switch to an offensive approach. With relentless cawing, chasing after and sometimes even physically attack or peck a bird of prey, the crows try to make sure that the predator is at least annoyed and will leave the crow territory. Although a crow will sometimes go on the attack by itself, it's much more likely that you will observe that a whole group or at least a pair of them will go after the enemy. This behavior is called mobbing and is sometimes also done by other bird species. Crows will group up on the hawk, the eagle or the owl and literally bully them away. Using teamwork, mobbing birds will overwhelm and scare off a large attacking bird. A lot of the times, a crow mob will only attack a big bird until it retreats enough to be no longer considered a threat. In some circumstances, however, the crows will attack until the threat is dead. A single crow cannot easily kill a much larger raptor or bird of prey, but through teamwork, crows have a rest and killed birds of prey. You might have heard the phrase murder of crows, which is another term for a group of crows or a flock of crows. Considering the fact that they have the potential to group up and kill bigger birds of prey, the phrase makes a lot of sense. But actually the saying does not stem from them killing hawks, but is rather derived from folklore and or superstition. Corvids are important scavengers and were therefore always associated with death. They are often thought of as signs of bad luck or danger and hold prominent places in art, poetry and storytelling as symbols of death and doom. For example in Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Raven. Historically, some people have viewed crows as a symbol of death. In ancient times, they were known to circle battlefields to pick at the dead and some believe that circling crows signify imminent death. However, personally, I prefer the crow symbolism for example in the Native American or the Celtic cultures and traditions. There the crow is rather associated with wisdom, wit, prophecy, selflessness and occasional mischief. Now thank you for watching my video, I hope you liked it and enjoyed watching. If you did, please click on the like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos. It is free and only takes one second to do. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.